Hey, so today we are doing a HIIT workout. This is a very popular workout in my home for me and my husband because it's something that you can do when you don't have a lot of time. HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And that is exactly what it is. It is so intense, those specific workouts, for a specific amount of time, as fast and as hard as you can go. So for the first exercise, we do high knees. You're standing up, you're trying to hit your hands, hold your hands, bend them about 90 degrees and try and hit your knees to your hands. If you're hitting them easily, you wanna raise your hands a little bit higher and try and reach. You shouldn't be able to actually tap your hands. You should be able to keep wanting to reach, reach, reach higher and longer with your legs, getting your knees up, thinking knees to the ceiling, just as hard and as fast as you can go. Continue going for one full minute and then we're gonna go straight into the next exercise. For the next exercise, we're going into air squats. Jump squat, air squat, same thing. You're going down into a deep squat and then you're exploding out into a squat. We've done this in other exercises before. I love this one because it's so hard and it gets straight to the leg muscles, your glutes, and cardiovascular. <laughs> it's so hard. Your heart rate is going to be pumping. You are not gonna be able to get through the last 15, 20 seconds without a lot of effort. Don't stop, go the whole minute, just slow down if you need to but don't stop. The next exercise we're doing are burpees. For the burpee, you can start out strong doing the full exercise the way I'm doing it here, and then we can start to modify as the minutes go on and as you go into the next ones if you're feeling sore or you just can't go on. You're gonna put your hands down on the earth, hop back into a plank, come into a full push-up, and then hop up and then explosively into the air. Repeat that as many times as you can. Follow along, hop back, plank, going to a push-up, hop back up to the front of the mat, explosively another jump squat. You can then modify later by not going into a full push-up and just coming into plank, then hopping back to the front of your mat. So for the final exercise, that last minute, we're gonna be going as fast as we can in elevated leg crunches. Put your hands behind you resting on the mat, fingers facing your feet, and go in and out as quickly as you can, focusing on the abdominals, the full abdominal wall, your obliques, the whole front of your transverse abdominals, your abdominals up higher, near your rib cage, down lower, towards your belly button. Take all your attention and think about your abdominals as you're crunching in and out. If this is too easy and you're a crazy person like me, put your legs out straight into a V and then bring them in. Legs straight out into a V and then bring them in. One minute, strong. If you need to slow down, again, that's totally fine. Try not to stop. Take yourself to your own edge. In each of these exercises, you only have one minute. Make the most of that minute. Push yourself as hard as you can. Obviously, if you feel something in one of your joints, then stop. Otherwise, it should feel hard. It should feel like a lot of effort, and you should be out of breath by the end of the minute. Thank you so much for joining me for this HIIT workout. I hope you got your sweat on and you're feeling awesome, blood pumping. Go drink a bunch of water, and if you do have an extra five minutes, hit up this exercise. It's stretching, just five minutes of stretching. You can tag it on to any of our workouts here, any of our couples workouts, this HIIT workout. Join us the next time.